Hi, I'm Denise McDonald. I'm the executive director of Lynchburg's historic Old City Cemetery, Museums and Arboretum, and I'm here to ask your help with one of our most iconic statues and grave markers here at the cemetery. We are privileged to be not only the historic cemetery of all of Lynchburg, but to have the largest uh, area of African American graves here. We have probably the most African American graves of any uh, cemetery in this region, and it's a rich, rich heritage. So we want to preserve that heritage, and one of the things that's come up is one of our most special statues. The statue uh, represent, it put, put up in honor of little Emmett Jefferson, who was two years old and died in 1909, is the statue on his grave is tilting over and falling in uh, because we have had groundhog activity here and, and old age. So we're here to ask your help with that. And here's Lucas Peed, our historian at the cemetery, to tell you a little bit more about the family of the Jeffersons. Thanks, Denise. So behind me is the angel statue that we're protecting, and it's the grave of Emmett Jefferson. Um, this statue is important to the cemetery for many different reasons. It's always been an icon of the cemetery here as our only uh, statue-style gravestone. It's uh, the object of many paintings here, pictures, photographs. But above all else, it is that gravestone to that little two-year-old boy. And so his family has just such an amazing story that this statue helps tell that story. It really catches the eye, draws people over here, and is really a conduit to tell uh, stories that otherwise might get overlooked. In this family plot here, there are actually four generations of the Jefferson family. Uh, William Jefferson was probably the most well-known of the Jefferson family. He was a stone carver here in the area, both while he was enslaved and after he was emancipated in 1853. He was active here in Old City Cemetery for about 25 years, longer than most stone carvers uh, here in the cemetery. From about 1840 to 1865, he was putting stones here in the cemetery. And actually a good example of one of his stones is located right here beside the angel statue. It would be William Jefferson's mother and little Emmett Jefferson's great-grandmother. Uh, but William Jefferson, his stones are pretty iconic with a pointed top, uh, standard block lettering he would do, and geometric designs on them as well. As so if you walk around the first uh, four acres of the cemetery, the oldest part of the cemetery, you can see a couple examples of his work, both in the uh, sections of enslaved burials and the ones of the free African Americans uh, over here. And so it's just an amazing story to tell. And uh, like I mentioned before, the angel statue here helps us tell that story. Here in Old City Cemetery, we're always having a battle against the forces of nature, whether it's a branch falling out of a tree, hitting a stone and cracking it, um, just cold weather causing the ground to kind of twist and turn, or groundhogs, like the cases here with the angel statue, tunneling underneath them, breaking the stones. We always have something to fix around here. Uh, normally, our team of volunteers do a pretty good job of fixing those. They can fix most any of them. But with the angel being a bit larger, it takes a bit more work and, of course, a bit more money. And so that's why we're really trying to uh, get the word out about the competition where we can win this uh, money to go towards the conservation of the angel statue. Uh, we'll be working with the city and consulting with uh, some people around the city to figure out the best way to conserve the, uh, the angel statue. On a very basic level, it needs to be cleaned. It's got mildew, other types of biological growth on it. Uh, originally it was white marble. You can see it's certainly not that anymore. It's covered in more gray than anything. But then the biggest issue is having to lean it somehow or um, raise it just a little bit to then put more of a permanent base underneath, fill in the groundhog holes around it, and just make sure that base is stable for years and years to come so this icon lasts for many more generations. We encourage you to vote daily, which the Virginia Association of Museums encourages, and to help us save this wonderful grave marker representing Emmett Jefferson. And thank you so much for your support.